It's impossible to ignore the huge interest that exists around Tesla cars. But what many people don't realize is that the biggest challenge isn't the desire to own one, it's the price. And that's exactly where the new Model 2 comes in, as the missing piece to complete this puzzle. Elon Musk has been very clear when he says that Tesla's mission goes beyond making cutting-edge electric cars. It's about making this technology accessible to everyone. The market already offers several electric options, but few really fit into most people's budgets. The Model 2 is a proposal that promises to change the scenario. It was not designed as a simplified version of previous models, but as the key to popularizing electric vehicles once and for all. During Tesla's latest earnings conference, Musk made it clear that the Model 2 is not just a distant concept. The project is already in development, with tests underway and internal signs that its launch may happen sooner than expected. Expectations for the Model 2 are high, and rightly so. This is Tesla's most ambitious attempt to create a truly affordable car, something the company has been promising for years. And the most impressive thing is that this model has maintained the brand's pillars, performance, energy efficiency, and cutting-edge technology. The estimated price, around $15,000, is striking, especially since it doesn't seem to require major sacrifices in quality or innovation. This won't be a basic, boring, or unidentifiable car. Quite the opposite. The Model 2 is being developed based on everything Tesla has learned so far. It brings the best of previous models, but with a total focus on production efficiency and cost reduction. It's as if the company has condensed all its experience in the last decade into a new logic. Less luxury, more impact. The idea of an entry-level Tesla has always raised questions. How can it offer high performance and advanced technology at a lower price than mainstream models like the Honda Civic? The answer lies in smart engineering. Instead of reinventing the wheel, Tesla is optimizing what it already has. Reusing components, rethinking materials, and streamlining processes. No fancy solutions, just strategic planning and applied innovation. But it's important to note that despite being the brand's cheapest model to date, the Model 2 is far from being treated as a secondary project. Within Tesla, it is seen as the next big leap, the gateway to new audiences. And it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it could become the best-selling car in the company's history. The logic is simple. The more people can buy it, the larger the customer base will be within the Tesla ecosystem, which opens up space for updates, loyalty, and expansion. This strategy makes perfect sense in the current scenario. The demand for electric cars is growing every day, and many consumers won't leave combustion engines behind, but they are faced with high costs. The Model 2 is designed to meet exactly this audience that was waiting for a viable option. It is not just another launch. It is a game-changer. A car that can put pressure on competitors, shake up the market, and force other automakers to rethink their entry-level lines. The impact could be even greater than you might think. An interesting aspect is the appeal this model has with younger people, a generation that grew up seeing Tesla as a futuristic brand, but who until now could only dream of having one of these in their garage. Now, with this affordable version, this generation will finally be able to drive a Tesla, and not just any Tesla, a model that maintains a brand's characteristic electric performance, connectivity, and innovation, all in a more compact format and at a reduced price. The choice of Giga Texas as the Model 2 production center was strategic. More than just logistics, it was a decision to avoid tariffs, optimize the supply chain, and focus efforts on a location where Tesla already dominates the manufacturing process. Initially, production would be in Mexico, but the change reveals the company's attention to detail for this crucial launch. Furthermore, recent changes in U.S. trade policy have led Tesla to adjust its plans. Instead of continuing production in Mexico, the company has decided to centralize everything in the United States. And the most surprising thing may not even be the change in location, but rather the innovative method that will be used to manufacture the Model 2. Model 2 production is being guided by a new internal philosophy called DOP, a concept that advocates eliminating everything that is not absolutely essential to the vehicle's performance and functionality. In practical terms, engineers take existing systems, strip them down to the essentials, and build everything from scratch with a total focus on efficiency and agility. This mindset not only allows for drastic cost savings, but also speeds up manufacturing. The entire process 
from part design to assembly has been simplified to the max. However, this simplification is not a shortcut, but rather the result of years of experience, especially with the CyberCab, a vehicle designed for urban mobility. Many of the lessons learned from it are being applied to the Model 2 to make it more accessible, functional, and resistant to everyday use. A clear example of this approach is in the plastic panels we incorporated coloring. They do not require traditional painting, save time in production, reduce maintenance costs, and are more resistant to visible scratches, as the color is part of the material and not just a superficial layer. Furthermore, the Model 2's architecture will share several elements with the CyberCab, less powerful engines, smaller batteries, and a leaner body. But this does not mean a loss in performance, but rather an intelligent adaptation to the car's purpose, to be efficient and affordable without compromising quality. Rather than designing an entirely new car from scratch, Tesla is betting on a modular system, reusing tested components and adapting them to a new structure. This strategy not only ensures more competitive prices, but also shortens assembly time. Standardizing parts and processes allows for increased production on a large scale while maintaining consistency. To support this mass demand, Tesla is doubling down on investments in automation and robotics. The goal is to speed up the production line without sacrificing quality control. This makes assembly more agile, lean, and precise, like a high-tech industrial choreography. Another interesting point is the selection of materials. The automaker is prioritizing cheaper and at the same time resistant alternatives, such as the reinforced polymer, which is lighter than metal and absorbs small impacts better. This choice contributes to reducing the car's total weight, which improves energy consumption and extends autonomy, even with smaller batteries. And there's more. The Model 2 will also take advantage of technology from the foundries, where large sections of the vehicle, such as the front and rear, are molded as single pieces. Instead of assembling the car with dozens of small parts, these giant pieces come out practically ready to be fitted together, further speeding up the production process. Despite all these decisions aimed at reducing costs, what is most impressive is the technical level that the Model 2 promises to deliver. It is a cheaper car, yes, but it preserves all the technological lessons that made Tesla world reference. Calling the Model 2 an entry-level model is unfair when you look at the torque 300 nm delivered in just 0.1 seconds. This almost instantaneous response to the touch of the accelerator is something rare even in higher-end electric vehicles. The sensation is that the car merges with the seat with a light press of the pedal, making even the most routine journeys a fun experience. And this isn't just on paper. Prototypes have already been spotted undergoing testing in the United States, and the numbers are impressive. From 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, only 5.3 seconds. For comparison, many combustion cars that cost twice as much fail to reach that mark. The most impressive thing? The Model 2's performance doesn't depend on perfect roads. Even in everyday use, it shows consistent performance. Tight turns, sudden braking, and quick restarts are handled with surprising balance. Much of the stability comes from the independent rear suspension with a multi-link system, which offers more control and smoothness, even at higher speeds. The result is a car with firmer turns, less body roll, and a ride that conveys more confidence. For those accustomed to the basic handling of a traditional compact car, the difference is striking. The Model 2 seems to have the soul of a sports car, but without the ostentation, and at a much more affordable price. Another highlight pointed out by those who follow the test is the traction control system. Even delivering aggressive torque, the car remains firmly on the ground, without skidding or causing any scares. This shows that Tesla did more than just deliver power. There was meticulous work on electronic calibration and integration of the driving software to ensure that everything worked accurately. And this type of refinement is rarely found in more popular cars. Furthermore, performance remains consistent. In simulations of overtaking and progressive acceleration, the Model 2 reached 80 km per hour in just 11 seconds, always with absolute control. In everyday situations, such as entering a highway or leaving a traffic light, the car responds promptly, giving the sensation that there is plenty of power, even when driving at a more relaxed pace. And there's more. In the cone curve test, the Model 2 achieved 0.9G lateral force, 
without even causing the tires to squeal. This means that it has real grip, both in a straight line and on curves. The most interesting thing is that all this performance is delivered intuitively without requiring any special talent from a driver. The technology works in the background, ensuring precise and safe driving with the simple act of driving normally. Another technical point that makes all the difference is the weight distribution. Since the batteries are positioned in the lowest part of the vehicle, the Model 2 center gravity is just 45 cm due solo. It may seem like just a number, but it changes everything in practice. The car becomes more stable, more balanced, and much more pleasant to drive. In addition, the balance between the front and rear axles has been adjusted to achieve the ideal ratio of 50-50, something valued by those who understand sports cars. With all this performance, an inevitable question arises. What about autonomy? How much can the Model 2 run on a full charge? This is precisely where it starts to leave its competitors behind. The big change is in the adoption of sodium ion batteries, a technology that, until recently, was seen as something far from the market. Tesla decided to anticipate and implement this innovation in its most affordable model. A bold move, and one that, if successful, could completely transform the electric car market. These batteries have two clear advantages from the outset. Low production costs and high thermal stability. In other words, they are cheaper and safer without sacrificing performance. This represents a real step forward in making electric vehicles more economical and sustainable. What really stands out about the Model 2 is its impressive range. In real-world testing, the vehicle managed to travel up to 400 miles on a single charge, a remarkable feat for a car in this price range. For comparison, many affordable electric models barely get over 180 miles. Importantly, these numbers didn't come from controlled lab environments, but rather from a variety of driving experiences, including different temperatures, terrain types, and speeds. When winter arrives, performance remains strong. Sodium ion batteries demonstrate high efficiency even in sub-zero temperatures. While lithium batteries tend to lose performance in cold weather, Tesla's new solution maintained up to 80% of its functional capacity even at minus 28 degrees Celsius. For those who live in cold regions, this represents much more than just savings. It is a guarantee that the car will operate normally, without surprises or unexpected failures. A competitive advantage that cannot be ignored. Another important point is safety. Sodium ion cells virtually eliminate the risk of combustion, one of the biggest concerns in electric cars, especially in collisions. Since this type of battery does not use flammable liquid electrolytes, the chance of spontaneous fires is drastically reduced. This makes a battery not only more economical and durable, but also one of the safest available on the market. As for durability, the results are even more impressive. The new battery pack, can withstand up to 3,000 full recharge cycles before there is a significant drop in performance. In practice, this means a service life of around 750,000 kilometers, even surpassing that of electric vehicles in higher categories. While it doesn't offer wireless charging like some of Tesla's own luxury models, the Model 2 makes up for it with ultra-fast charging at V4 stations. In just 15 minutes, you'll be back on the road with considerable range. And with Tesla's supercharger network expanding to increasingly remote areas, owning a Tesla is no longer just a privilege for those who live near major urban centers. This new battery technology also has a positive impact on the total cost of ownership. With a long battery life and virtually zero maintenance, the initial investment pays for itself over time. There's no need to worry about frequent replacements or unexpected costs, making Model 2 a reliable and cost-effective choice especially among entry-level vehicles. But all this innovation would be worthless if the car wasn't safe. And that's when Model 2 breaks a dangerous market pattern, that cheaper vehicles have to compromise on protection. While many entry-level electric cars skimp on airbags, Tesla offers a full package in the base model. There are eight airbags distributed throughout the interior, including front, side, curtain, and even need protection for driver and passenger, a standard previously reserved for much more expensive cars. The features don't stop there. The model comes equipped with an automatic emergency braking system, which uses sensors to detect obstacles in real time and activates the brakes if the driver doesn't react in time. This technology is essential in urban traffic, 
where pedestrians, bicycles, and motorcycles appear unexpectedly. And the best part, all of this is included in the basic version, with no extra cost for more sophisticated packages. Another important highlight is the blind spot monitoring system, rare in cars in this price range. Using side sensors and visual alerts on the dashboard, it warns the driver of nearby vehicles, significantly reducing the risk of accidents when changing lanes, especially on highways. Furthermore, the car's design itself promotes safety. The large windows and less intrusive pillars ensure excellent visibility, making driving easier in any situation. This approach combines technology with practical solutions and is reinforced by virtual crash tests. With more than 10 million kilometers simulated in different conditions, rain, snow, potholes, and high speeds, the Model 2 showed a 43% lower chance of accidents compared to combustion cars. In its class, the Model 2 stands out impressively, and that's not just because of its results on the track and in the lab. Part of that excellence comes from an advanced digital foundation that allows engineers to predict and correct problems early in the development phase, before mass production. This ensures a level of refinement that few entry-level cars can match. Adaptive cruise control, typically available only on more expensive vehicles, comes standard on the Model 2. It automatically adjusts speed to maintain a safe distance from the car in front making long trips more comfortable and safer, especially when fatigue starts to affect the driver's reflexes. Another interesting aspect is the vehicle's internal structure. Tesla developed a new metal alloy for the Model 2 safety cell, increasing the chassis strength without adding extra weight. This structure was designed to absorb impacts intelligently, directing collision forces away from the occupants. The same technology is present in the brand's more expensive models, such as the Model S and Model Y, and now also in the most affordable model in the line. Speaking of accessibility, Tesla also thought about people with reduced mobility, the elderly or those who had difficulty getting in and out of small cars. In the Model 2, this was resolved with wider doors, a flat floor, and a generous interior space, both in the front and back. It may seem like a simple detail, but it makes all the difference in comfort and practicality in everyday life. And at night, safety goes up a notch. The Model 2 comes equipped with full LED headlights that automatically adjust their intensity and range based on speed and the presence of other vehicles, improving visibility in dark areas and preventing dazzling oncoming drivers, a feature usually reserved for luxury cars. Ultimately, the Model 2 is changing the way we think about entry-level cars. Every design and technology choice demonstrates that Tesla is redefining what it means to offer an affordable vehicle without compromising on comfort, safety, and innovation.